Next, let, not, next let's look at the run as service account. Um, you do have this NT authority network service account, which is provided by Windows. On Linux, this, this step looks different. Uh, on Linux, just so you know, uh, they create a default user called Tableau, and that is created as a run as service account. On Windows, though, all Windows server, all Windows machines basically have this network service account, which is a limited access user. And that is, you can set that as your access user. Or you can define your own user account, your different specific user account for the run as service account. Uh, there are some requirements around this, but the main reason for having a run as service account is that you don't want to give anyone access to your full machine, to your full uh, company infrastructure, if they hack into the machine, if they, if they somehow are able to misuse the connection to the internet that the machine has and be able to access to some layer of your machine, you don't want them to be able to just um, get into this account and be able to do things on your machine. So that is the, yeah, that is the basics of this, why you have this and how you would use it. Um, so this user is the user that any Tableau process, anytime someone re requests a workbook, requests some data source, this run as service account is the user that's going to be used to get in and to basically manipulate whatever is required on the machine. That's why you do not want this user to be an admin user. So please do not set an admin user here because in that case, if some mishandling of, the, of your machine happens, uh, people get much more access than you intended for them to have, uh, which is not good. So it's good to have a limited user, but a reason to have a user account, to have a defined user account versus the default is because you have access to some data sources, some databases somewhere. Because if you use AD, uh, then you have access to machines, you have access to databases, and sometimes they are, because of your AD credentials, access is granted based on your AD credentials. So it's good to have that user account, a specific user account with limited access that can access your databases here. So then anytime a user is interacting with databases, any request to the database goes in the context of this run as service account, unless specified otherwise, you can't specify otherwise, but it goes in the context of this run as service account. And this user account, since it's on your AD, can access your databases. So that is a reason you might want to have a run as service account, a, a custom defined run as service account. Uh, but if these things don't matter to you, you can just go for a network service user. And as a limited user, least amount of setup, and it's just, it just works.